we're looking at a nice collection of 10 different uh, ju juvenile books or children's books of the mid 19th century to the later part of the 19th century. Look at this uh, interesting uh, wood engraved half title here, Cincinnati, Ohio imprint. Uh, 1866, the Gunboat series. Um, that's right after the Civil War. The spine is quite nice. There's a steam paddle boat, I believe that is, on the spine there in gilt. The next book also has a fantastic gilt pictorial spine. It's Captain Maine Reed, The Young Jaegers. Uh, this has got a fine uh, embossed uh, in blind binding. Uh, it's the first American edition, early uh, ornate calligraphy signature by an owner. Um, we see here uh, engraved frontis with tissue guard, illustrations by Harvey, and this is the author's edition. Uh, it's slightly shaken. One of the signatures is slightly protruding from the text block. Uh, but it's well illustrated throughout um, and uh, yeah, an attractive binding. This next book also has a beautiful gilt pictorial spine. It would appear as though these uh, children are all in a basket and climbing up to a balloon, a hot air balloon, I would think, with the love of the author. So this book has been inscribed by the author here, M.J. Sleeper. Uh, to Sicily's scenery, custom, uh, uh, history, and uh, painters, etc. It's illustrated with these small uh, woodcut uh, views and images uh, throughout. Uh, and, yeah, that's interesting, inscribed by the author. And so this next book, again, really attractive gilt pictorial spine with, uh, well, it appears like somebody... Uh, it's hard to say, really, if that's, it's, it's just hard to say if that's a Native American, I'm not sure. Polar region, that's it, right, though they're, they are holding spears. There we go. Uh, by Ballantyne, ah, yes, famous boys author. Uh, yeah, I'm attack some polar bears. Uh, and then this book is Rolo on the Atlantic, famous series. Look at this great embossed bookseller uh, stamp here to the end paper. It's in relief uh, in the museum building in Manchester, New Hampshire, probably dating from the 1860s. Yeah, this is 1864, so it's a Civil War imprint, um, wood engraved frontis, uh, numerous uh, small wood engravings. Oh, damaged page there. Uh, sm small wood engravings throughout the text. Uh, oftentimes, this is uh, when I make these videos here, uh, it's the first time I've actually gone through each book in detail like this in a long time. These have been uh, in a barn um, office or uh, in um, a room, one of the rooms we have in different locations full of books. Uh, and here is an early reader, uh, American reader, probably yeah, 1873. It's uh, profusely illustrated with uh, small line drawings and what are I mean, I'd say these are line drawings. Uh, oh, they could be wood engravings. Um, nice pictorial cover. This one has an interesting paste-on chromolithographed color illustration to the front cover as issued with a stamped in gilt. Um, and this one here. Ha! It says frontispiece, and that's exactly what it is. Uh, whiter than snow. And this book has clearly been consulted and looked at because you see soiling throughout from hands having handled it. Oh, domestic scenes are often found in juvenile books of this era. This uh, little book here uh, has an early inscription and it looks to be dated probably, oh, I would put it in the 50s or 60s, 1850s or 60s. Um, full page illustrations. The final volume, again, has a, an interesting uh, color, a, a chromolithographed paste on to the front cover. It's uh, stamped uh, in black. Um, it's for little ones, pictures and songs. 
published in Boston. It's illustrated, as you can see, well illustrated throughout. Oh, look, a little image of a doll, a family outing, a baby, and so on. And this interesting lot of 10 American juveniles is currently available uh, online from me, Brian DeMambro, uh, here in Dover, New Hampshire.